that's my channel. If you're new, hello and welcome and enjoy. I have decided to come up with this video idea because I've been trying to search it for so long for myself and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I thought, why don't I just do it? But I think everyone will agree with me here that every single girl really wants soft hair. Doesn't matter if it's short or long, everyone just wants soft hair. And I know I am such a culprit of this. Like, I want soft hair so bad, and like all my friends have like, really, really soft hair, and it's actually so annoying. But my hair is so damaged. Um, obviously, if you've been following from last year, you would have known that I actually had bleached blonde hair last year. Um, and now it's brown, so you can tell what kind of state my hair's been through. But anyway, I'm here today because I wanted to show you guys what product you can use from your local supermarket um, in order to achieve soft hair. Now this might sound incredibly weird, I'm well aware, but I just feel like so many hair masks that you can buy online, um, ones you find in the shops, ones that are really good are so expensive. I remember lifting, I was looking up some the other day, this is when I came up with the video idea for it, because it was like 30 pounds for a hair mask, and I was like, like stroll on, I'm not paying £30 for a hair mask, like how ridiculous. So, I took a tip down to my local Morrison's store and I found this. This is, this was the only one they had. This is the Morrison's Organic Extra Virgin Coconut Oil. Now, I am not a big fan of coconut, I really, really don't like coconut um, scent or anything. Um, but I have heard coconut oil works wonders. And I'm actually very excited to try it. Why is it so hard? Is it meant to be this hard? I'm confused. So, you're actually going to have to heat your coconut oil up as I'm gonna do the quickest way to do this would be obviously if you had a microwave, but we are so old school we don't even have a microwave. <laughs> You want to kind of scrape it out. Oh my god, I didn't know. It's like, it looks like lemon sorbet. I thought it might come out in one big block. So, what I'm going to do, I've just taken my hair out of that stupid bun I've had it in for about three days. How bad is that? And I'm going to take my lovely tangle teaser and I'm literally just going to brush my hair, brush all the knots out of it. And then I'm I'm not I'm not gonna wash it, but I'm just going to wet it um, just with water, just like dump my head under the water, and then I'm going to go back and heat my oh my god, my hair is coming out. Heat the coconut oil, put that on my head quickly, and then yeah. I'm in the middle of heating it like this. I'm heating it like this because we don't have a microwave. Oh, it's smoky in here. Steamy, not smoky. Whatever. So, gonna heat it like this until it is a clear substance all around. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm really gonna quickly just wash my hair and then I'm gonna go back and heat it up
works. And um, this is so affordable. This coconut oil I'm using is five pounds. And um, that's not even the cheapest one. I only got that one because we didn't have any others. The one in co-op is about two pounds or something ridiculous like that. Um, but it really does work and it's so good for your hair. It's also very, very good for your skin. So maybe if you'd like to see me use coconut oil on my skin, um, then I don't know, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you'd like to see that as well. Because um, again, that's a bit different. But I think what I'm going to do as well is create like, hopefully, start like a little series about using supermarket products in your hair and eventually seeing which one's the best and which one you guys think is the best as well, which is uh, what I'm hopefully going to try and do. Um, so we're going to be using a range of different products, so honestly, get out there, get in your local supermarket, see what you can put on your hair, you never know. Alright, I'm going to go and eat my dinner and do whatever else, I will see you guys in one hour. So, it is one hour later, as you can see, my hair, I don't know if you can tell, but it is, but it literally is rock hard, like, so hard here, and just everywhere really. And I'm going to be using the Aussie Mega Shampoo, this is my favourite shampoo ever, and I would recommend washing it twice, um, just so you get all the coconut oil out. At the end of the day, it is oil and it is grease, and if you leave it in your hair, obviously it is going to make it greasy, so make sure you wash it thoroughly, and again, like I said, I would wash it twice, um, just to make sure you get everything out. So your hair is washed, it feels, oh my god! Oh. Already, actually. Oh my god, I actually can't believe that. I'm just hoping and praying that it doesn't feel like hard. Do you know what I mean? So much better. I've just taken that god awful screen protector off it. So I'm just going to give it a brush just to make sure I've got all of the coconut oil out of it because there is nothing worse. Look at that. Oh my god, my hair's falling out so bad. There's nothing worse than still having like oil in your hair once it's dry and then you're like oh my god and I now have to wash it again that is the worst thing ever I always let my hair air dry uh, every single time I wash it just because it's better for your hair and it is just so much healthier for it now i am actually going to put some of this in this is the aussie beach mate oil i put this in my hair after every single time i wash it um but again like your results will work just as well if you don't use this like this is just oil for like the ends of your hair so a few squirts of that i'm just gonna rub that together in my hands and just pop that on the end of my hair now you don't have to use this if you don't want to again you can use any other type of oil um, I used to actually use an oil from home bargains and it was actually one of my favorite oils the only reason I use Aussie is because someone bought it for me as a present when my hair is completely dry I will come back to you and let you know what it feels like so I just want to just give you a quick update on my hair it is 10 past 9 and so like it's basically dry it's just like the bits underneath that aren't quite dry um and it is so soft i would definitely recommend this so i'm going to tell you guys to my morning what it feels like as well after i've straightened it and whatever else i'm going to do with it so it is the next morning as you can probably tell um because my hair is literally crazy so i left it to dry naturally last night and when i leave my hair to dry naturally it goes like this and it goes very puffy and it just kind of looks a bit wild um <laughs> um it just kind of it always goes like this even if i don't use like coconut oil or anything it just goes seriously wild and bush like um but it is so unbelievably soft like you guys will never you guys will not know this until you try it 
So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna straighten it now because I literally cannot go out like this. Um, so I'm using this. This is a leave-in spray. Uh, it's a heat defense spray. Um, this is from Pound World actually, so it was only a pound. And it is so good. It's like the best thing I've ever used. So I'm just gonna spray that all in my hair and on my back. <laughs> Uh, leave that in for like two minutes and then I'm going to straighten my hair. I have straightened my hair now and it so feels... Fine. You don't have any hair. <laughs> it feels so nice, it feels so soft and it's so shiny. Does it feel nice? Yeah, it does actually. <laughs> so I would definitely, definitely recommend to use... Um, this coconut oil. Obviously any coconut oil is better. The one in co-op is like two pounds rather than paying like a fiver for it. <laughs> and a good discount. But yeah, definitely recommend doing it. I'd say to do it about once a week is recommended, but it feels amazing. So it's a bit later on, I've just got home and honestly like my hair is so soft and like it falls really nicely after I've straightened it, it straightens so easily and again with like the heat defenseless spray, brilliant, can't go wrong. So as I'm going to come to a conclusion and actually say coconut oil, okay so if we were going to rate it, I'd probably, let's do it out of 10, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10 on softness and it again it get uh, again it's really good for your hair so i would definitely recommend using coconut oil probably once a week or once every two weeks or whatever as like a deep hair treatment but i would definitely recommend it it's made my hair feel absolutely incredible um so yeah this is definitely a thumbs up so if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already there will be another one next week where i am testing a whole new different product from your local supermarket which obviously is local to you guys and very affordable obviously it's a supermarket like I got that, I got the coconut oil from Asda, which is so cheap and it it works so well. It's actually like a dream. So yeah, this is very affordable hair treatment that you guys can afford as well as me. And I love doing it. So smash the thumbs up button if you've liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. And more importantly, don't forget to come back next week to watch next week's uh, episode when I will be trying a brand new different product from the supermarket on my hair to see if it works or if it doesn't work and I'm sure we will get a shock <laughs> see you all next week bye